Hello there, lovelies. All right, so to start this off, I want you to do a deep side part, choosing on whichever side of your head you'd like. And then I want you to draw another part parallel to that one. You can use combs for both, you can use your fingers, whatever works for you. So you're gonna take the rest of your hair and just pull it back so it doesn't get in the way. And next you're gonna just brush your hair forward and you're gonna start to do a French braid. I have a couple tutorials on how to do the French braid, so I'll put those links down below if you need an extra help. But basically you just wanna make sure that when you're braiding, you're only picking up hair in a straight line to where you're about to braid it in. This will just help it keep a nice tight look to it. Once you get to the front, you're gonna want the braid to start to turn. So in order to do that, all you have to do is hold your braid in the direction you want it to go. As long as you do that, it'll braid exactly how you'd like it to. So once you've got that all figured out, you're just gonna let down the rest of your hair and you can continue to braid your head, your hair on the top of your forehead. And just remember, whichever way you hold the braid is exactly where it's going to go. Now, for this look, you want to only grab hair into the French braid when it is on the front of your head. When you're putting the hair over on the back side, just don't add any more hair. But when you are turning the braid over from the front of your face, that's when you want to add hair. So you just continue and do a braid the rest of the way down. You don't have to do a French braid anymore. And then you're gonna just tie it off with a little rubber band. I get my little black rubber bands from the dollar store. They're about 500 for a buck. Okay, and once you've done that, this is one way you can finish it. You can take two bobby pins and pin it to the back of your head in an X formation. And the other thing I'm going to do is take that braid and we're gonna take the, you're gonna twist your hair on the side of the head all the way to the opposite side of your hair and then you put a nice tight side ponytail on it and you can have this ponytail be curly if you want it to be a little more romantic more casual you can keep your hair straight and this is just a little extra clip that I've acquired that I think adds an extra little touch you can have flowers ribbons feathers you know anything you want is up to you so I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you will try it out